Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. This is our journey with God. The name of our devotional today is He Fights for Me. But first let us pray. Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 reads, For the Lord your God is going with you. He will fight for you against your enemies, and he will give you victory. Thank you, O God. Father, I am so grateful that you are for us, my Father, that you fight daily on our behalf. At our beck and call, you swoop in to guard and protect us from the things that we cannot see. And you constantly battle in the realms that we have no dominion or have no vision to see in the spiritual realm. You hear our cries for help and ignite a supernatural power and strength to see us through every day. Thank you for defending us and fighting for us and protecting us. Thank you for the blessings that we can see and the ones that we cannot see, the blessings of your defense over us, my Father. The times where we may have lost our keys and it's just a little distraction or a little detour because you're saving us from an accident. Thank you for all the times that you have fought to protect us, protect our minds, protect our health, protect our finances, our jobs, our homes, and we don't even know about it. And we give you praise for those times, my Father. We give you praise every single day. But we want to thank you, Lord God, for the things that we cannot see, that only you can see, my Father. Thank you for winning the battle, my Father, of the mind so that we can be in perfect peace with you. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, amen. The sun streaks suddenly through the sky, pushing back the rain clouds that give way to rays of light. Nothing about our circumstances shifts in this moment, but a steady knowing grows in me. My God sees and understands. He has not left me to flounder through life on my own. The Lord is fighting for us. He is at work because he hears the cries of his children. Sometimes the pain of this world or our own personal suffering can corner us and fill us with a fear we never thought possible. It feels like the enemy of our soul is charging towards us and there is no stopping the advance. But the God of our fathers stands ready with power and might in his hand making a way second chronicles chapter 20 verse 6 we see the israelites in a similar position in second chronicles 20 they were trapped with their enemies marching against them a mountain of armies descended around king jehoshaphat and the people of israel fear was palpable through the city and a great alarm was raised what did king jehoshaphat do he called the people from every town in judah to stand with him at the temple of the Lord and inquire of God, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 4. He prayed, O our God, will you not execute judgment on them? For we are powerless against this great horde that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but your eyes, but our eyes are on you, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 12. The people stood and waited, placing their lives and their hope in the Lord in an act of great dependence. The Israelites had nowhere to turn except towards God. Our situations can be so dire sometimes that we come to the absolute end of ourselves, unable to see a way through. But we have a saving grace in our God, who hears our cries and is mighty to save. When the Lord spoke through Jehazael, son of Jessachira, he responded with compassion and authority, both incredible characteristics of one who comes to save. And he said, listen all Judah, all inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord, 
to you, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed at this great horde, for the battle is not yours, but God's. 2 Corinthians 20, verse 15. The battle is not ours, it's the Lord's. Yet he still tells us to turn and face our hardship. We don't run for, from it. We stand with our eyes toward the fear, the irresolution, the crumbling walls around us. But when we watch for our deliverance with faith, fastened to the God who makes good on his promises, he promises to be with us when we face our battles, whatever they are. Today the sun will stay and we can take hold of what we cannot yet see. By faith we stand and face whatever situation, believing that the battle is the Lord's. He goes before us making a way. He promises to fight for us when we turn our hearts to him and seek his voice. Pour out our helplessness to him and let him move against our enemies, those hounds of hurt, confusion, and fear. Whatever our struggle is, we lay it before the Lord. We have faith in him, and we give thanks and keep a posture of humility and gratitude even before we see any change, before we see the breakthrough. Because he is faithful, and his deliverance will come. As we praise he is at work, he is always at work. Father, Thank you, my Father, that you are for us and not against us. My God, we may sometimes feel cornered like the Israelites, and sometimes our back is against the wall with no way out. We can be overwhelmed and fearful, but you are our God, the one who sees us and responds because you love us. Would you come to my rescue today you're the only one who can fight this battle and you are strong. I am so glad you go before me, making a way where there is no way. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we praise you and give you thanks and honor today and every day. Amen. My friend, I encourage you to play in the light, play in the sunshine. I encourage you to dance in the rain. If you're driving a vehicle, please drive polite. I also remind you to keep on smiling because God loves you so very, very much. Until we meet again, have a blessed day. This is a prayer to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Father God, thank you so much, my Lord, for Jesus. Thank you so much that I realize that I am a sinner and that I need a savior, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the precious blood that was shed on the cross at Calvary for me, for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you forgiveness for every one of my sins. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my life and be my Lord and savior. I give you my word that from this day forward, I will follow you. I will read the word, I will go to church, and I will spend time with you, Lord Jesus. I want to get to know you more. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making something of my life that is worthwhile, something wonderful. Thank you, Lord for accepting me as your son, as your daughter, into the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your great grace. In your name I pray, Lord Jesus. Thank you for receiving me today. Amen. My friend, if you have made this prayer, if you have said this prayer, I congratulate you for because today there is a celebration in heaven the bible says that when one sinner repents there is a celebration in other words there is a party in the kingdom of god and so i congratulate you because it is the absolute best decision that you 
will ever make or have ever made in your life. Many blessings to you and to your family. In Jesus' name, amen.